a lot of you who may be drawn to this work may have in fact gone, of course I'm a healer, like that rings true for me. Have you acknowledged the depth and the breadth of it? Without a cognitive knowing of, oh, of course I heal people because I'm a doctor, I'm a nurse, I do this kind of healing modality, I'm great with children. Yes, those are this reality's version of being a healer, but beyond that, what space can you be and can you hold for other people that is healing in of itself? What qualities do you possess, even on a molecular level, that is like alchemy for anyone in your presence, even if it's just passing them by on the street? Now, throughout this journey so far, we've been really building your awareness of the breath that you have that is awareness, right? That you are this massive psychic radar, picking up on things from all over the place. Adding that, adding to that now, this, oh, I'm a healer, and the breath of that paired with your awareness. Not only have you been so aware of what's going on with people, your ability to heal has really added to this psychic sponge phenomenon. Why would I pick things up from other people and hold it? Well, because you're a healer. You see that, oh, well, maybe if I take it on, they'll feel better. We have massive gifts in this area, and so many of them do not match, do not match at all the cognitive mind of what a healer would be the projection of what that would be or the way it looks in this reality. A lot of our healing ability is much more on the energetic level. Again, if you can think of molecular alchemy that you be walking, talking around, that is very different and also much faster. There's much more of a breadth to it. There's much more of a depth to it. And the ability or the kind of misability to get lost in it is also very huge if you're not aware that you're doing it. So not only are you aware, and again, that awareness on the outside starts to feel like it's inside of you, causing a lot of the stress and the mind busyness, right? But when you're healing all of the things that you're aware of in other people or in the earth, you identify it with it so much more. And it also becomes kind of this valuable, vital thing for you to actually hold on to. So again, that sponge where you soak it up and hold it because of whatever point of view. So wherever you've made it vital, valuable, real, significant to actually hold, hold onto things for people in an attempt to heal them and all the misidentification and misapplication of your healing abilities, will you please destroy and uncreate all of that? Times a godzillion, right, wrong, good, bad, pock, pod, all nine shorts, boys, and beyonds. And what I would really invite you to hear right now, acknowledging your ability to heal and also how much you care. How much do you care, not only for the people in your lives and their bodies and this earth, but also just humanity? Just the people walking around, the people in our world. How caring are you? So much so that it's almost like, of course I'll carry that for you because I care so much. It's more important than me. And this is where I would really like to start flipping that perspective for you and where real freedom actually lies. Where have you taken the caring that you are and made it so much so that you are like subject to it. You're inferior to it. You're down below. So it's become much more important to carry things for other people than it is to have caring for yourself and freedom for yourself. Anywhere and everywhere you've made yourself subject to or inferior to healing and caring for others, will you destroy and uncreate all of that? Yeah, times a godzillion. Right, wrong, good, bad, pock, pod, all nine shorts, boys, and beyonds. And we talked about this in last video, right? Like, what would actually serve the world greater? You being the psychic radar, picking up information, asking what's relevant, using that information in a generative way, or you 
soaking it all up and holding it so much that you become dense. Which one actually has more healing capabilities for yourself, for other people, and for the planet? You getting information, utilizing it from a space of lightness is actually so much more generative and much more healing on a broader scope than the psychic sponge phenomenon. So I would love for you today to start playing with this awareness, acknowledge how much you are a healer, sink into that. Because we acknowledge on the surface, right? Oh yeah, of course I'm a healer. Oh yeah, of course I care for people, right? Surface, surface, surface. If you actually allowed yourself to sink into the depth of that though, would there be a greater awareness of where you may be still holding on the value, the vitalness, the significance, the meaning of being that for others that still has you subject to it. Allowing yourself to be that aware, to acknowledge the level of caring that you have, will give you more space about how you can actually utilize those gifts in a generative way. It's not that we're not going to be healing. It's not that we're not going to be caring for others. It's just that we've misidentified it to such a degree that we lose ourselves in the process. A lot of the stress, the anxiety, the depression, a lot of that stuff is actually what we're carrying for other people, like we talked about last time. When you can acknowledge the fact that you're a healer, that you care deeply, and also that, oh, I've twisted it into something that's not super generative for myself or for the other person, that's when the freedom starts to come to utilize these gifts in a massive way.